What's up everyone, this is Shoryu Game welcoming you to another KOF 15 trailer analysis. Yes I know, it's been a while since I did one of these. There is an explanation for that, which I'll talk more about at the end of this video. But for now, let's focus on the main star of this reveal trailer, Athena Asamiya. Her announcement for KW15 is hardly a surprise, let's be honest, but at the same time, the trailer has enough stuff going on that it still managed to surprise me. Athena is a character from the Psycho Soldier game. She is a successful idol with psychic powers. Since 94, she's been in all K-Wave games and never missed a single one of them. Usually, she is a member of Team China with Chin and Kensu, but she was seen with other teammates throughout the long-running series, most notably her presence in 2003 with Hinako and Meilin. If you want to know more about Athena, check the detailed video I made about her. The trailer takes place during the day version of the French neighborhood stage where Vanessa made her reveal. This time, the streets are livelier with people and cats are nowhere to be found. What caught my attention was not the stage however, but the theme playing during the trailer. It's very catchy and is easily one of my favorites in the game so far. I love it a lot. Moving on to Athena's model, what do you know, she has a brand new design. This is a tradition with Athena, she always shows up with a new design with every new K-Wave. This time, she has shorter hair, which is not a first, but, in my opinion, she never looked that pretty with short hair. Her costume is also original, and it appears that it's inspired from her outfit in K-Wave 2000. There is a bit of similarity, don't you think? All in all, I like this new version of Athena a lot. They did a great job making her look new and familiar at the same time. She without a doubt looks a lot better than she did in 14, and obviously doesn't even compare with her design in 13. Let's begin dissecting her moves and techniques. Athena starts with a far C, jump D, crouch C, which is one of Athena's strongest normals, sweep or crouch D, back throw, normal throw, and a standing CD. She performs one of her old wind poses, then continues with her special attacks, an EX version of her command throw, the ever useful phoenix arrow, level 2 super shining crystal bit, which can also be done in the air, and her other super level 2 crystal shoot. Then we get to see some of her combos executed on Ryo, starting with a close up jump B, close C, and a psycho ball. Next is a close D, Forward B, which makes Athena airborne and allows her to finish the combo with a phoenix arrow. Athena begins spamming her psycho balls that are successfully parried by Ryo. It was then when we get to see that her other projectile, Psycho Shoot, is back. A fireball that causes a knockdown and launches the opponent high enough in the air to allow more combo possibilities. Its downside is that it has a longer startup animation, which in this case misses with Ryo's timing and got him hit. She performs an armored CD and follows it with her DP, the Psycho Sword in its EX version. Next combo starts with an EX Psycho Throw, followed with a Psycho Shoot, a teleport that brings her right under Ryo to finish it with a Psycho Sword. The following chain begins with a double crouch B into a quick max mode activation. She then executes an EX psychic throw into an EX teleport that made her switch sides and end in the combo with another special move, the psycho sword. I wonder how much meter she burned there. Next she begins with a close C into an EX psycho shoot, followed with a regular psycho ball and a level 1 super crystal shoot. Finally, the last combo in the trailer starts with a raw max mode activation. Close C, forward B, Phoenix Arrow, cancelled into level 1 super crystal shoot, cancelled again into level 2 super shining crystal bit, and at the end she ends the combo with her level 3 super. It looks a lot like her climax super in 14, Athena Explosion, but the initial attack is a fireball instead of a psycho sword. There are a lot of other details that makes it look almost like an original super, except for the last bit when she mimics Frieza and throws her giant purple fireball. In comparison, this is how it looked in 14. Yep, they definitely worked hard on it. 
Then the trailer ends with a big reveal. Athena is actually the third member of the women fighter team, which turned out to be called the superheroine team. As said earlier, this is not the first time where Athena joins a different cast than her usual bodies, Chin and Kensu, but it is the first time where she teams up with Mai and Yuri. It's kinda like a dream team with its members coming from different old SNK titles. This reveal has some implications though. First, it's unlikely to see Alice, since most of us speculated that she is going to be with Mai and Yuri. Secondly, there is a high chance that we won't see Chin and Kinsu in 15. It's true that somebody else from the Psycho Soldier band like Bao or Momoko may fill Athena's place, but personally, I don't think that's what's gonna happen. Up until now, Athena always stays with her regular teammates, and the rare times where she is in a different team is when they are absent. So yeah, Kenzo and Chin are unlikely to be part of 15's roster. So many of you may be wondering why I didn't make videos for Ramon and King of Dinosaurs trailers. To be frank with you, after making a dozen or so of these analysis videos, I realized that their views were getting fewer and fewer. For me that meant one thing, people are just not interested in this type of videos. Initially I was never planning in covering KW15 trailers and news. I only started doing it because I received a lot of requests from you guys. But as the views became more and more disappointing, I started asking myself, why am I doing this? These analysis videos, although shorter than the other types of content on this channel, still require a non-negligible amount of work to make. If most people are not interested in them, there's just no incentive for me to keep making them. I know that there are some of you that like them and always watch them. I'm very grateful for that and can't thank you enough. I know it must suck for you and I'm very sorry, but I really hope you understand that it's just not working for me. That being said, it's not like I'll stop making analysis videos for good. If they drop trailers that I consider worth making videos for, then I'm still gonna cover them just like with this video. And you can bet if Yamazaki or Rogal are revealed, I'll most certainly make videos for them as well. It's just that I'm not going to cover every single trailer they launch. That's it for now. Again, I'm very sorry for those who enjoy these videos. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.